It's time to rise now. The crucifixion was for the resurrection. I'm gonna tell you what I mean coming up. So who can stand? Hi guys, this is Kay Nash, and welcome back to another episode of The Greater Things. I want to talk to you today about rising now. I feel like this is a prophetic word from the Lord. The Lord had me do a lot of studying in um, Matthew 28. Basically, um, it's all about when Jesus resurrects and that whole story. The first thing that happens is an angel sits on the stone. Okay, this is so interesting here. And behold, there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven. One of the things I felt highlighting was that angels can cause earthquakes when they come down from heaven. Jesus. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And we're about to see strange and unusual things from the Lord. Mm. This was not something normal that just happened. They weren't used to the whole earth quaking um, because like a angel was coming down. That wasn't like every single day an angel is just coming down causing an earthquake. No. This was for a special event. Jesus. Mm. It says his countenance was like lightning. Mm. You know, sometimes things are not what you think. You know, they didn't know what was going on. They didn't understand where Jesus had went. And I feel like the Lord is saying, it's not going to be what you think. Hmm. You know, maybe they wanted to believe that he was going to resurrect, but they were still scared that he wouldn't. So, you know, they went to the tomb to go check on him and basically found that he was gone but not only was he gone there was an angel there and it was an unusual sighting of the saints of god i feel like there's going to be unusual sightings this month jesus and the next probably two months um hmm. Hmm. and so the angel tells them this is a 28 5 do not be afraid for i know you seek jesus and um so he tries to calm them down saying, you know, it's going to be okay. Don't freak out. I know like I'm not what you were expecting, but Jesus is risen. Mm. And I felt like the Lord said, rise now. Mm. 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 And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. This is a very interesting part that I felt highlighted. Um, so the angel says to them, um, indeed, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. But before they even get to Galilee, Jesus shows up. Sometimes Jesus shows up unexpectedly quicker than it's been originally said, you know, because the angel says, by the time you get to Galilee, you're, when you get to Galilee, you're going to see him, but they see him before they even get there. Um, so they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples word And as they went to tell his disciples behold Jesus mm, mm, Some of you are about to behold something Jesus met them saying rejoice. So they came and worshiped him and fell at his feet Jesus Jesus interrupted their plans. They were going to see Jesus But Jesus got there before they even expected him to get there and so I want to tell you today that some unexpected things are going to happen on your way doing what the Lord is telling you to do. As you're on the way doing what the Lord told you to do, watch him show up in an unexpected way. Hmm. Another thing is this, this was an interesting thing I felt the Lord highlighting too. This was 2816. Um, then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. And I heard the Lord say, appointed mountain. He's going to appoint, appoint some things for you that are going to be big things. You know, that are going to be things that stand out. Things that you weren't expecting. Things that are bigger than you think. Things that are going to move mountains in the name of the Lord. Things that are going to make you not hold back your hand from the plow. Things that are going to push you forward. Things that are going to propel you forward. Things that are going to make you rise. Finally, some of you have been waiting for years to rise. And I felt like the Lord said, the rise has always been in you. We are a people of the rise. We need to keep rising. It's not just this one time rise that this is going to be the one thing. No, 
we are continuously rising in the Lord. And I'm encouraging you this season to come up higher. Come to the place of the resurrection. Because the Lord really wants to resurrect some things in your life that were dead, that were dormant. Dreams that were just sitting there and unfulfilled. Things that you were questioning God about. Was this even you? What, what was this? Why did this happen? But the Lord resurrected Nazareth. Jesus resurrected. We serve the God of the resurrection. And the reason you felt so horrible in this last season is because you're about to be resurrected. Jesus couldn't get resurrected before he was crucified. He had to die to come into the resurrection. The first part of coming into resurrection is also dying. You know, you might not literally die, but some things in your life are gonna have to die so they can be resurrected. And when they're resurrected, there's a new fire, there's a new glory, there's a new power. You know, when Jesus came back resurrected, he was actually on his way to heaven. He was just pit stopping and saying, look, I told you, I told you I was going to resurrect. And here's the thing, not everyone can go with you. His disciples did not go with him. Eventually they did, but not right then because they weren't ready yet. And so I want to encourage you, not everyone's going to go with you. And some people might come against you. We also see this in Matthew 28, where basically lie, lying reports start surfacing. Um, this is 2811. Now while they were going, behold, some of the guard came into the city and reported to the chief priests all the things that had happened. When they had assembled with the elders, Jesus, and consulted together, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, saying, Tell them his disciples came at night and stole him away while they slept. And basically, this rumor went out and spread. You know, sometimes when you're rising, rumors are going to come against you. You know, this people have said stuff about my ministry. People have said stuff about my friends. Um... You know, my confidants, whatever, people are going to come against you. Why? Because you keep going to another level. Every time you go to another level, you know, something else might try to, you know, say, oh, no, no, they're not going to another level. Yes, you are. Don't believe all the lies. Don't believe all the things. Because despite what they said, despite the lies that they tried to put out there, it didn't matter. You know why it didn't matter? Because... Billions of people are Christians now. Billions with a B, okay? Despite what the devil wants us to think, we are still the largest population of people on this earth are Christians. And so, yes, I know the Muslims are moving very quickly to try to get to the same number as, as when you look at the population reports. However, they're not there yet. We are still the most dominant religion in the world, okay? And so they tried to t hate on Jesus and trying to say he didn't do that, trying to discredit his ministry, but it didn't matter. He has the biggest ministry of all time. He doesn't even need to be alive for his ministry to keep going. He did so much in those three years of ministry that even in his death, we still talk about him. You know, I want you to think about that. How much can you do in three years? I, really, I don't know why right now. I really want you to think about the next three years. What can you do in the next three years that if you didn't live past them, people would be talking about you for forever? You know, how much of a difference can you really make in the next three years? Okay, Jesus did so much in a short period of time and I want you to get ready because the harvest is coming for those faithful people. The rising is coming, but you have to step into it. Rise, beloved, don't hold back. I saw this woman and she was kind of afraid of some job opportunities. Um, and I felt like the Lord said, just step into the one that you love. You know, and you know, the Bible says, earnestly desire all the spiritual gifts. You know, we know that verse, but it also says, you know, follow the way of love. You know, I think a lot of times when I don't feel loved over a period of time, you know, every relationship you have, there's going to be days that you don't feel loved by them because they're having a bad day, okay? Everyone has a bad day. But if I continuously don't feel loved by somebody or a people group, this is probably not where I'm supposed to be. You know, I'm supposed to be in a place of love so I can flourish and become all the things I'm supposed to be in God. So... I just want to encourage you to follow the way of love, find the way of love, and rise with God, Jesus. We are walking into resurrection, and it's not about no Easter bunny or about no eggs. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ rising.
You know, if he didn't rise, we might not even know as much as we know about his ministry. You know why? Because that was the thing that set the disciples on fire because, you know, they saw him get crucified. You know, when you see one of your leaders get crucified, you're like, man, I don't know, should I follow them? Was I crazy for following them? Was I nuts? But when you see him come back to life, that very same Jesus that was covered, you know, in all these whippings, all this pain, you know, when you see that very same Jesus that was bleeding on a cross and you see him walking around again, what do you think? What do you think? Death could not hold him. And you have to remember that we have Jesus inside of us. But when you rise, that's when it's going to spread. That's when it's going to spread like wildfire. Hmm. Another thing that I feel like the Lord is highlighting right now, and this is something that I never see in Christian movies. You know, there's so many movies out there about Jesus when he's on the cross, but there's something that they miss every single time they do these movies. I've honestly never seen a movie do it, and if you know one that has done it, I would love to see it, so link it below. But when Jesus is on the cross, um, all of these people start resurrecting and coming out of their tombs. Okay, it says many saints came out of their tombs and started walking around. What? Okay, his crucifixion allowed for, it caused a resurrection of him. It caused a resurrection of others. We need to be a type of people that bring resurrection out of others, okay? When you are bringing resurrection out of others, they rose first. They rose before him, okay? There was people walking around before Jesus even rose, Okay, he went, took the devil's keys, and set other people free, and then he rose. You know why? Because he was a servant of all. He took care of his family first, and then he took care of himself. And, you know, and I think that Jesus was a true servant, a true humble man, and we, I just love him, and I'm so excited that we are coming into resurrection in April, and... Mm, I just feel the Lord. I feel like this Easter is going to be very significant for many of you. Um, and so just keep your eye out. What is the Lord doing around Easter? What are you feeling in the spirit around Easter? Is there a shift for you? Um, I really feel it's a rising-like season and a resurrection-like season. And um, it's going to be different. It's going to be different, but it's going to be good. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed April. I know I released this a little early. I have a lot going on in April. I'm going to be speaking in Merritt Island. I'm going to be doing some other ministry things. Um, and my sister's getting married. And my birthday is actually on Easter. Um, so there's a lot going on. We have a lot of things with our family and friends and ministry going on. So I'm kind of going to be busy. So I wanted to get this word out to you as soon as I could. Um, but also, if you need help um, with discerning the spirits, it's really important that you are going to hear God this season and follow the right spirit. Make sure you pick up our Discerning the Spirits book. Um, we are going to do free shipping this month um, with our Discerning the Spirits book. And so you can order it. We'll pay for the shipping, so don't worry about that. And we'll send you that book to help you get some discernment so you can really walk and follow the Holy Spirit and rise how He wants you to. I hope you have a great April, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.